Hello, my name is George Watts. I'm a British Wheel Yoga teacher and creator of the Yoga Teacher Lesson Plan Kit. In this video, I'm just going to take you through a uh, blog post um, of mine, and it's called Drawing a Yoga Stick Figure in Ivan Brunetti style. So Ivan Brunetti is uh, quite a famous cartoonist, and his style is uh, what I'd call kind of doodle, doodle style, so not high... High art, uh, it's very, very simple, but still very effective, gets the message across um, with a few strokes of the pen, and they look nice, they're kind of fun. So very similar similar to uh, yoga stick figures, uh, when we draw the stick figures. Uh, but uh, I just thought I'd share this with you in case you just wanted to add uh, a little bit, of, little bit of cartooning style, the Ivan Brunetti way. So step one here, um, is you just draw two basic shapes, so a basic shape for the head and the body. So I'll just draw along uh, here. So there's the head and you've got a very basic body. So step two is you can add uh, simple limbs and features. So here this one is just standing and in prayer, prayer hands. So very simple and go down here with the legs, very simple limbs and features. And step three is embellishing. So here you can add um, add some details uh, if you want to. So you could add uh, uh, like glasses there, scruffy hair. Uh, you could add a sort of pattern on your shirt. Whatever you want to, you can just go wild. And uh, another post, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do a uh, uh, a doodle on Quinton Blake. Uh, style of faces so if you're uh, if you want to add uh, maybe a few little faces there there's another really good um, artist who does kind of doodly style he's very famous but he's uh, he's got a thing on uh, faces so I'll do that in another blog post if you want to uh, learn how to do faces for your stick figures in a very simple cartoony style but you don't have to you know it's not rocket science you can just uh, add a little face there and then the final step uh, is if you want to, you can add colour. So what I do, I've got, uh, so I always have these uh, these pencils next to me, these drawing pencils, and they are watercolour pencils. So you can buy a set of these for about, oh, I don't know, so I've got about probably 30, 40 of these coloured watercolour pencils. Um, and you can just draw in, and then, because they're watercolour, uh, you can then add a bit of, um, you know, Get a little paintbrush with some water and you can just add a bit of a you know a bit of water to make a washed out style there which is quite quite fun or you don't have to add the water you know you just keep the color like that so that's obviously optional but i like to add a bit of color every now and again so that's the the four basic steps so if i go scroll down on the blog post um and get to the uh, the main image there you'll see that i've got uh, on the next half of the page i've got um you know broken it down uh a bit more so same kind of thing we've got the head draw the big head so a big head uh you know in body shape so the body shape could be anything here it could be rectangular it could be you know it could be whatever you like uh, as the body shape but normally it's uh, it's that kind of shape um and if we do the doodle, uh, step three is the uh, the the noodle uh, arms. So very very again very simple. Instead of just one line, you got two lines there, but they're very noodly. Um, and step four, uh, rudimentary hands and feet. So you see, there's just a little circle there with a few little swiggles coming out for the hands. Uh, and the feet can be, you know, very simple. And there, I've got them looking like kind of socks. Maybe they're like yoga socks. There's a you know a million and one different ways that you can do hands and feet, but you know, there the sort of the, the the Brunetti style there is just very basic, very simple, and it's you know it's good enough for uh, for what we need to do for a uh, for yoga class for yoga stick figures. And number five is adding the rudimentary uh, features. So there you can go wild. Uh, so whatever you suddenly want. And, you know, as you're doing the doodles, um, you'll be amazed what suddenly sort of comes up, especially as you, if you get into the habit of doing the doodling, uh, you know, you might, you'll be, uh, be fun what, uh, what comes up. And just let your, uh, your hand go. Don't try to, 
a draw a drawing a professional drawing this is just a doodle so there's no mistakes there's no right or wrong just let it go and see what uh, what features come up um, and that's it so i hope you enjoy and the rest of the post there i've just uh, re recapped on uh, what i'm saying here um, and my conclusion in this post is really just uh, I, I really do recommend keeping uh, a notebook uh, what I used to do in the past was keep a notebook and I had a, quite a lot of text in the notebooks and a few doodles. Now I kind of do it the other way around. I kind of uh, do it's mainly doodles and I have a little bit of text because that's a more fun way of doing a diary in, in, my, in my view. Um, and then when you revisit the, uh, the diary and you flick through and you're looking at the doodles, these images, they're far more memorable and you're more likely to remember you know your doodles with a bit of text than just having a, a page full of notes full of text uh, you just won't remember that um, so that's why i quite like the doodles but I, uh, but the, the trick is just keeping it nice and simple letting your hand go and don't get too precious too serious about how how your doodles look uh, especially when you begin they're going to look pretty bad i mean i've been doodling for a while now uh, and my doodles are still pretty uh you know <laughs> they're uh they're no good uh, that's okay you know uh that's all right just for um you know i'm not i'm not expecting to uh put them up into um an art uh gallery or anything it's not for that it's just a nice diary that you keep and you can uh you know if you if you, if you enjoy doing it, you can uh, put them down on a A4 sort of printer bit of paper, and you can do your lesson plan with the with the uh, you know, doing a maybe maybe doing this Brunetti style when you're doing your lesson plan, and you can add a bit of text, a bit of fun. So if it's a theme, maybe it's a theme about uh, the root chakra, you might have a big burning red uh sort of fire in the middle of your your drawing and then your lesson plan goes around that fire and then you've got a bit of text to do with uh, uh points that you want to mention to do with the root chakra and how that um what poses go with the root chakra and all that kind of stuff so you add these little uh, these other little elements when you're doodling uh, a lesson plan so uh so it's similar to a normal lesson plan so most yoga teachers will will do what uh, you know the typical lesson plan is very very simple stick figures uh in rows and they might have a title at the top and they'll take that into class with them but this one you're kind of doing the similar same kind of thing you know maybe you're doing a little bit of the brunetti sort of cartooning embellishing maybe adding a bit of color but then you're adding a, a sort of a mind mappy type um adding other stuff there like i mentioned with the root chakra you might uh, actually draw uh, a doodled root chakra and paint that in red uh and then have your uh you know uh, weave the uh the stick figures uh, around that um that root chakra so in future blog posts and videos i'll be showing i'll be doing a few of those and videoing me doing those so you can see um see the process and see how easy it is um and also see how much you know that will create a bit more fun for your students where they get literally a hand-drawn um a little mini bit of work of art from their yoga teacher so a bit special so it's not something you need to do make all the time every lesson because uh, these probably take a little bit longer than a uh, than a normal uh, lesson plan but every now and again yeah, a bit of fun for your students to do so i hope that helps